stone are mine. Right here we have Pancake fast asleep. Finally. She runs around so much, I'm surprised she's not like this more often. Uh, right next to her we've got her favourite toy. New favourite toy? Don't want to talk too loud because I might wake her up. Then again, cats. I never completely asleep, really. Took a step over to the side and she woke up. Now I know that you know I make videos every now and then because you're subscribed to me. However, I don't always have something planned uh, to make a video about. So somebody suggested that I give you a side view of this. Let me just put that there. And basically side view meaning you know, going like this. That way you can see the excursion on these things. I didn't really think these really had that much excursion, nothing really to, you know, film about. But I'm going to do that because I don't really have anything to film in this video, really. And nothing really planned, which is why I'm doing this in the first place. So, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give you, uh, yeah. I do, however, have something downstairs that I need to sort out, which is sort of base related. But I might do that in the evening. I guess this video is going to be clips of things that I've done today. So, yeah, uh, that's how I'm putting this video together. All right, so I'll turn this on. Now this isn't going to be a sound test of this because I haven't got the mics hooked up. I mean, you've probably heard how it sounds already. I'm just sort of wondering what angle would be best. I don't want to go too flat like this. Actually, that's not too bad. We'll try something like this. Make sure the camera's focused. Right, so what I'll do is I'll put the link for this in the description if you're interested and hopefully there's no copyright on this. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to completely cut this out of the video and you won't even know about it. Alright, so bonus points to you if you can guess what I've done. Can you guess? I purposely, by the way, placed this on its port. So now, we'll see what it's like when I turn it the other way around. Definitely sounds different. Right, well that wasn't too bad. What I want to do now is I'm going to put this there like that maybe. Um, and then I'll just put this sideways because that way I can probably zoom in a little closer on it rather than having it the way it was. And then I'll go like that and closer. Yeah, that's uh, probably a little better. Fills the screen a lot better. Now this next track as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the highs on it. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this, by the way. It's a very popular bass track. That is a clue. And the next clue will be the way the speakers move. 
That's not the track, that's a bloody advert. That was fun, wasn't it, Pancake? Did you enjoy that? Over here. Hi. Did you enjoy that? Did it wake you up? You're looking outside at the birds. Would you like to murder a bird? Ah, she's waking up now. All right, so I thought I'd show you this. What we have here is, well, peanuts walking past, but what we have here is a cannon. It's, it's a make of camera, not an actual cannon. So the camera that I'm filming with, this is what I'm gonna do with it, so, you see that on the top there? Into that, what I'm going to insert is this. This is a light, it's a LED light. And these are quite handy because usually without light, you can't see anything. Just like this. And doing that is going to give me a really sort of horror film like look. When I turn these lights off, do you want to play? Here comes Peanut. Wow, she's so quick. Okay, well, I think she's enjoyed that short little play around. She's looking a little sleepy. I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna crack on with the door. There's something wrong with my door. He's on this chair. This is known as cat chair. The cat chair, because the cats sit on it. Either way, this has nothing to do with the video. Let's go to the problem area because I've got a problem that needs solving. Now, I've got this door in my living room and whenever I watch movies and there's low frequency bass, it makes a rattling sound and I'm not too sure where that sound's coming from. Uh, I've got an idea. See, there's no gaps between the door except for, you know, like there. But when it comes down here, there's, there's no gap until it reaches to about there. So I'm guessing the sound's probably coming from around there somewhere. Right, so the problem area, I think, lies between here and there. That's why that's in the shot. Uh, this is in the shot because it's part of the door. There's a few other areas a little further down which have the paint between the door and the edge of it. I've forgotten the name for that. Yeah, we'll see. I'll see what the problem is. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll maybe use my Dremel and uh, get rid of the paint that's connecting the door to this edge. Hopefully that sorts it out. But yeah, I wasn't gonna film this at first and uh, I thought, well, it's something to do with bass and sound, which is what I seem to make videos about because that's just what I do. Now what I'll do is I'll play a part of a movie and we'll see if it makes a sound. Also what I'll do is I'll hold my microphone around here somewhere and hopefully it picks it up. Not too sure if it will or not. Okay, so it turns out the problem area is around here somewhere. And when I do this, You can hear it. Now it actually gets a bit louder than that, so uh, yeah, I need to sort this out. All right, what I'll do instead is I'll play 25 hertz. I should have just done this from the start. Should be able to hear this. All right then, uh, not really too sure why I'm filming this for this channel. Um, apart from the low frequencies that were just in the video, there's nothing else. Okay. There's probably gonna be nothing else of interest in this video for you, but what we have here is a block of wood and some sandpaper. So I was gonna use this at first, but yeah, I'm not too sure. That might just take a little longer than I want. How's it going, Peanut? You all right? Great. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do to try to keep things nice and simple is use the end that I've put on there rather than a sanding disc, because with this I can get right in between it without much hassle. And uh, it should sort things out, I think. Also what I should do is probably use the vacuum cleaner at the same time, but then I'm gonna have to put the cats in the other room because otherwise they're probably gonna get scared and run up the wall. By the way, in case you're wondering, this end that I'm using isn't made for this job, but I'm using it anyway. All right, so I've done a little bit there. What I'll do now is I'll move the camera out of the way because it's basically in front of me. Okay, so unexpectedly, the pink thing that was on the end of that eventually fell off, but that's okay because I think I'm pretty much done with this now. So between there, and here was a problem area. Seems all right to me. 